Hey guys, it's Brett from Iron Body Martial Arts again. Um, and we're gonna do some shin training, some shin conditioning training for martial arts, uh, for combat sport, for whatever you wanna do it for. I've just come from Jiu Jitsu, um, and it's time to, do, time to do some shin training. So I'll, sh I'll show you a number of different ones, but I'm gonna be using this Makiwara board today, and this is just my shin training. Um, so yeah, let's get it on the go. Just so you guys know as well, we've got um, Super Chat enabled now for the channel. So if you wanna support the channel, if you wanna help like um, get new equipment, anything like that, or if you wanna change a topic, um, just, you're, you're just Super Chat and I'll try and deal it for you. Other than that, we're doing some shin training, okay? This is great for densing the bone, so let's go. So what have I got here? Uh, ah, cool, got a thumbs up. I got a Makiwara board here. Yeah, you can get these in the shops. They're nice and simple and easy. Yeah, okay. And this is easy. This is just my training, yeah, for what I'm doing with my shins, right? So you strike. And you relax. No one said traditional martial arts shin training was um, pleasant, all right? Now this board is a sprung board, so it makes a little bit more noise than, than, it, is, you know, than it should. Yeah, but it's pretty, pretty tough if you squeeze it. Yep, I'll show you a different one as well. So this repetitive striking of the shins is invoking, well, well everyone talks about it, Wolf's Law, yeah? So for the bone remodeling. But this is the way, like for your Muay Thai, or for your traditional martial arts, yeah, you can train your shins to be tough. Just dropping it in. Now it's good to use this padded target sometimes. It's good to use this pad target, yeah, two thumbs up. Um, it's good to use a padded target like this because um, we're gonna be st we're striking the bone, yeah? And we don't want the bone to, uh, don't want the bone to bruise, so we don't wanna go too hard. I'm just doing this training after Jiu Jitsu, so I thought I'd let all these subscribers come and join. So this is good for the balance. Balance on one, if you don't slip on the carpet. Balance on one, strike on the other, yeah? Like a check. You can even strike a nice elbow in between. We're striking. Ah. The wannabe martial artist says, did you make that or buy it? Uh, I bought this in the shops, guys. This is a store-bought Makiwara board. They're pretty cheap. Um, but it's a great little tool. It's a great little conditioning tool. I'll show you a different tool that I use. But this is great, yeah? For conditioning the shin. Yeah, so we're gonna be striking the front bone. So that's, that's one of the evilest places to strike, the front bone. Uh, the side bone, that's how you condition that. Yeah, the side bone, yeah, and the outside. Flip, flip clips. 
or how their flip clips or how flip clips look as as I explained at the beginning of the video my friend we're, we're, we're running a, a, a super chat going on uh, trying to trying to uh, support the channel or trying to get new equipment or whatever it is trying to help with the training so um, I'm doing the shin conditioning because that's the training that I'm doing now uh, but if anyone wants to change the topic totally to another specialized topic like starting on the knuckle conditionings then um, if they could if they could super chat it and we'll we'll check we'll change it but for now um, we'll carry on with the shin conditioning yeah now if you're a sport martial artist or if you're a fighting fighting martial artist for the streets or whatever it's obvious that this kind of training although look it's not for everyone yeah is uh, it's valuable for you yeah especially if you do my type if you do anything any kind of combat martial art yeah so with the flat bone the flat bone the flat bone yep the flat bone Yeah, and also inside bone of the leg. The outside is the easiest to do, yeah, because it's just muscle. So you'll see a lot of you'll see a lot of like kicks where you use the outside muscle. You can get a lot of power in there and take people down. Yeah, and it's a very strong bit. So I don't bother with that that much these days. Uh, outside, yeah. So again, guys, um, we're building it up. Uh, what is the flip clip says? What's the hardest object you've broken? Um, well, uh, now that you mention the flip clips, I am trying to raise awareness, and it's in the links for my arm body martial arts. Um, uh, Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand Course, which is a course of all my conditioning trainings for Iron Hand, but also some for the body. Uh, and if you go and check that out on Udemy, the link's below. Um, actually, the link below is a, is a discount code if you want to get it. But if you go and just check out the intro video, that's not going to cost you anything. Um, you'll see on there that I've uh, broken uh, breeze blocks, which is very hard to break, cinder block. Uh, and also you see me bend a rib piece of rebar with my hand. Um, so, just so you guys know, like, the methods that I'm using are, like, legitimate. Um, you know, like, I've proved it on camera a lot of times. So, but you can check that video out, that intro video, um, for the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course on Udemy. It's the same, this kind of training, which I've been doing for 19 years. So, I'm not, I'm not one of these instructors who, like, knows it from some Chinese guy, but never does it. Anyway, and it's gradual, and it's, but no one said it's easy. Yep, side bone. So that's really got this side trained nicely. So you can you can you can imagine there if you're if you're fighting an opponent, even then if you're checking their leg. So yeah. Sorry guys, um, call interrupted there, but yeah guys, check it out. Um, like I said, this is a training I'm doing today, I just thought I'd let everyone in on it. Okay, let's do the other side now. What we've done, we've done this leg here for oh, about eight minutes. <sighs> Michael Raphael says, great video on IBMA Street Corner. Let's see what other comments we have. I don't know how to get the chat to appear. Uh, live chat. Oh, here we go. Oh, Patrick Starr says, <laughs> Patrick Starr. Um, Patrick Starr says he's been doing a video of the sledgehammer levering. Um, yeah, Pia Patrick, thanks for that, man. It's good, the sledgehammer levering, eh? All right, so important points, guys. Um, build up. Don't hit harder than what you can take. Don't, don't, um, you know, don't, don't go too hard on yourself because you're trying not to bruise the body. Um, you know, when you do this sort of training, um, you know, follow someone who's, I don't know, can give you advice or your instructor. Um, but when you do this sort of training, um, you know, you just got to be careful, all right? So that's all, that's all I'm saying. All right, let's do this other leg. Important. 
important that we get the straight tip of the bone. Because everyone can hit the side. Yeah, and you need to, if you can strengthen it. Um, and you guys see in MMA as well, um, there's been the, the inside uh, muscle kick that people are doing. Yeah, that's taking fighters out, the inside muscle kick, yeah? But in Iron Body Martial Arts Method, which is me, uh, of Kung Fu or whatever you want to call it, uh, I tra we train uh, the, whole f the whole leg to try and resist, try and resist, yeah? I'm not saying we're Superman. strange left-handed yep so you can practice your balance here you can practice your alignment as you strike yeah I told you everyone's got a gim a gimli left hand Good. So my left chin is a lot stronger, I think. On my right chin. Let's try a bit like that. So here's the store brought, Makiwara. Being slightly misused, not in the way it's intended to be. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, um, if anyone's interested in the iron hand aspect of things, I've got my iron body martial arts iron hand course. Uh, it's not super cheap, I'm afraid, but that's because there's a lot of effort going into making it. But for people following the channel or anyone, there's a discount code on it below. I've got five students so far. I hope they're enjoying it. It's only just come out. But who cares about that? Let's carry on conditioning our shins. And already I've found it's good to hold like this in your left hand. All right? The crazy things you see on YouTube, eh? So like I said, guys, we've got a, oh no, bad habit. We've got a super chat running to just try and support the channel and stuff. Everyone's hard hit at the moment, cash wise. So, um, trying to support the training, get new equipment. So, if anyone wants to change things around or just support the channel or whatever, they can do this super chat. Keep the, keep the nine years of IBMA running. Nine years, guys. And that's another cool thing you can. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, by the way. Uh, you can go back. You can go back on my channel, you can go back like eight, nine years, and you can see all the conditioning, yeah? So it's not like I'm just pretending this is from today, yeah? YouTube is a mad place. Of course, guys. Um, oh, thanks for <laughs> got some good thumbs up. Um, thanks for the thumbs up. Hopefully, you guys can see the, the the fighting martial art applications of this, which is where it comes from. Having a, a high an iron shin, a hard leg uh, for Muay Thai is brilliant. Yeah, um, you don't want to have weak legs there, especially everyone knows Muay Thai these days. They kick you or whatever. Um, you also can extend this striking to the legs. Patrick Starr says, how do you keep motivated to train so often? 
Ah, uh, well, Patrick, it's just because it's, it's pretty much what I do. Michael says the first step's exercising. Well, yeah, I guess so. This is, this is a bit, for the inner thigh, it's a little bit too soft, I think. So I'll show you something else that I use. Anyway. Well, hopefully, hopefully this channel, like I've tried to do for the last nine years, will help motivate people as well. Um, also, I've got, I've got Patreon, so if people are struggling for motivation, jump onto my Patreon. Even sign up to like the, the, the lowest rung or whatever, jump over there, or just come here um, and you know, I can work with anyone who wants me to work with them. You can send me stuff, send me your progress. I've got a couple of people who, who do that and they send me their stuff. Uh, uh, does Dick to Joe make conditioning faster? Alrighty, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, ooh, another cool thing you can do with these, you can chuck them on the ground, you can hit them, you can put them on top of your boxing bag like I did in one of my videos, on the floor, you can practice sort of ground and pound maneuvers that you might use in sport combat or in real life, although I wouldn't advise that because if you're ground and pounding someone in real life, it's not going to look very good for you in, um, uh, in this resulting court trial that will probably happen. Unless they're inside your house trying to break in or something, in which case it's fair game. Alrighty. So look, when, when you do this, you might get the odd like inflamed vein or something like that. You might catch a corner. That's why you've got to be careful. Um, uh, th this has got padding on it. Yeah, so it's all right. Uh, you know, there's other stuff you do. There's like Kree gongs and stuff. Let's see if I can get the tips on my feet. It's going to be difficult. I don't want to catch myself with that corner. That's a problem. Ah, uh, yeah. Other foot. Good practice for your, so not so much good practice for your kicks, but good practice for the, for the, um, the sort of, the relaxed swinging of your kicks, yeah? Yeah, and every now and then, just do a few of those. Yeah, straight up ones. Who have we got here? The wannabe martial artist. Does your wife think you're crazy? Well, I think my wife's used to me by now. So this will just keep blood in your leg. Yeah, you're doing straight. So much free information here. You're doing straight. Do them sideways. Careful not to hit this if you're holding it the wrong way around. But you can hold it the right way around and practice your kick ups. Let's try it on the other side. Make sure I don't kick it into the roof. There we go. So that's cool because we're also practicing the flat of the foot weapon. Yeah. And those aren't toe kicks. Um, toe kicks are different. Toe kicks you just be, ah, unless you scrape your nail off. Toe kicks you just be here, just tapping away. 
you can try and toe kicks as well if you're particularly evil. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up and stuff, guys. It's awesome. Like I said, thanks to all the new subscribers who like and share the channel. That's awesome. So let's see these shins now. What have we got going on? Yeah, right, so it's a little bit red. And the other one. So this is, this is to do on top of all your other training, yeah? Or if you don't do any other training, well, the least you can do is have a boxing bag and kick. Kick and punch that, or do your air kicks and punches or whatever you do. Um, but, but if you do this as well, it's going to help you to fight really good, like real fight. If someone messes with you, bah, you know, even if it's a, um, an untraditional like inside kick on the thigh, bah, as you're wrestling someone, as you're stamping them down, or if they're attacking you, yeah? A double leading, bah, you know? <laughs> Whatever kind of crazy kick you want to do, um, or even if it's a Thai style shin kick, a uh, muscle thigh kick, uh, yeah, great piece of kit. Now I'll show you the alternative as I'm feeling in a generous mood and we've got a good set of people here. Um, where's the alternative? Alrighty, so we got, um, we got this evil bundle of mine. Um, so again guys, if you're interested in all these methods, um, check out the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course that I keep plugging, only because I'm proud of it and I've done nine years of YouTube. Uh, and um, pretty much it's the only thing I've put together in those nine years that's cost anything um, But it's really cool. It's a full syllabus if you want to train these sorts of methods um, But look at the intro video on it. It's free. There's no problem. You can check it out. But yeah, okay this so you guys probably know that um, uh, You guys probably know that um, You know the samurai or whatever they used to have bundles of tatami matting that used to soak them uh, used to chop them with the swords. So this is a similar kind of idea. It's a bundle of bamboo. Every now and then I soak it. So it's um, so it's 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 a lot denser than it looks. Yeah, it's um, it's yeah, it's it's not uh, it, like it. It's not soft. Let's put it this way. It's it is. It's soft enough, but it's not super super soft. All right. So that's what you use. Um, and then we've done those on the shins, and now we're going to do some rolling with this, but we're also going to do striking. This is the main tool I use, right? So now we roll up and down the shin on the inside and the outside. Now this next bit's evil. And like I said, don't remember guys, we're running a super chat for anyone who feels inclined to support the channel in a magical super chat way or totally change the topic, which yeah, which they can. Or just support IBMA. All right, let's get some striking going on. So I'll show you, actually I'll show you the evilest bit first, which is the striking of the feet. Yeah, so there's nothing worse than when you hit that boxing bag with the flat of your foot, or you give someone that kick, that kick, and, it, and the freaking stings. Yeah, you don't want the stings. So, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be striking the top of our foot as well with this. Now this is evil, but good because it just like it just it's like a dead sink. That's what I'm using, says the wannabe martial artist. Yes. I can feel this on my foot now. Remember, don't hit too hard. And then after this, I'm going to have some lunch. Because otherwise I've been doing martial arts like all day. I did jiu-jitsu this morning. BJJ. That's why I'm in these white pants. Because these are still the ones that I was wearing from BJJ. And this is... Unfortunately, guys, this is the conditioning process, martial arts. Uh, yeah, there's lots of other things you can be doing, lots of other strike drills, lots of other everything like that. But beware the man who does those drills and then also does these, yeah? That's all I'm saying. Or beware the man who does those and then hits you, kicks you, uh, and it hurts a lot more than you thought it was going to hurt, yeah? So each for their own. Doesn't make you Bruce Lee. 
but the good thing is, whilst you're training it, you're also training good mechanics of, of balance, stance, and movement. If you're not on a, a rug that, that, what do you call it, flies along the floor, which is also good training. Yeah, so look, I understand traditionally the flats of your foot are not particularly a kicking weapon, but these days, these days for modern martial arts, sport combat, people use them. This is the toes, the ends of the toes. You bundle the toes together, and you just strike. Again, not too hard. Consistency. But it's good for teeping kicks. Yeah, just get that little extra point into the stomach when you send them in. Yeah, because you might usually send them in with a flat foot like this, but you can send them in with an extra teep into the stomach, extra pressure on the area, uh, extra punishment for the opponent. All right. Yeah, and we'll do some striking now again. Stand in our guarded posture. My dodgy bow legs that I've got. Thick, thick bit of the shin, thinner bit of the shin, we'll train that as well. Every now and then we'll strike the elbow, might as well. Remember, um, yeah, these aren't the easiest training methods, but they're not super hard. Thanks for the thumbs up again, guys. Uh, again, thanks for all the subscribers that we've got. We've got loads of new subscribers, um, but I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want people to think that we were um, forgetting about the traditional martial arts because we're not, not at all. We're still keeping our traditional martial arts going. Yep. We're still keeping that all going, um, even even though I'm doing this MMA Fight Club or whatever, doesn't matter. So this is the bundle, that's good. But usually I train it in like shorts. It, the the, the jujitsu gi takes away some of the sting. But this is the bundle that's great for the inner thigh because it's, it's it's more dense, yeah. So you strike inner thigh because we all know how evil those inner thigh kicks are when they hit you. Yes, yeah, silly stuff on that. Okay, I can feel it coming through now. And go up into a relaxed posture where the muscles aren't the muscles aren't helping you with deflecting. Don't hit too high or you know what will happen. And then you can strike the outside too. You won't be able to get much by way of leverage here. But you'll still get a benefit from teaching that muscle what it's like to get struck and feel it there. 
Don't hit too hard. Just build it up. Part of iron body training. Little secret for you guys. All this training is hard on the body. Yeah, so make sure you build up your endurance, like your normal endurance, like someone said, for running, for things like that. Yeah, and it'll help your body cope with this kind of training. If you want to learn about iron hand, iron palm and stuff, just check the link, like I said. Uh, that, that, that's the best thing I can actually send you to, um, is the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course. And I've got it out there with a discount code on there for you guys. For anyone who's even remotely come near the channel. Oh, I felt that one. Yeah, so you're not going to get too much out of that, especially not in these trials, but I can feel that. And any time you, anytime you strike the muscles, you should also stretch the muscles. Yeah? Yeah, so just give them a little stretch. Don't have to go crazy with it. Next thing, this freaking carpet's gonna go flying out from under me, and this is gonna be a, one of those fail videos. <sighs> no, I won't. <sighs> I'm a little bit more nimble footed than that. All right, so we've covered some fairly decent uh, shin conditioning there, guys. Yep. Yep. Uh, you can also strike the kneecaps. Yep. But again, um, you know, seek advice and seek stuff like that. That's part of the Iron Body Martial Arts uh, training methods. Uh, they're all Kung Fu methods from the 72 Secret Arts of Shaolin. <sighs> Amongst other places that I've been training for the past 19 years or so to build my martial arts strength and ability, uh, to toughen my body. Uh, I will be, at some point, releasing like a basics course because I've got so many videos for free on YouTube. There's hundreds, but people still come to me and they're like, oh, how do I start this? Where do I go? How do I start? And I tried to do it on Patreon, but it's not quite working um, because I think people don't like to sort of have to provide stuff online. So I am going to do, if anyone's interested, a basics sort of course or a basic syllabus that I'm going to chuck up on Udemy along with the Iron Hand course I've got there. But um, that's not, I've not done anything with that yet, and it took me nine years to get the, the other one up, so we'll see how that goes. Um, um, yeah, so, some, 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 some afterthoughts on this kind of training. Flexibility is key, yeah? Um, if you if you strike the body, you want to stretch the body. Yeah, remember that. That's a free one for you. Try not to bruise yourself. Yeah, try not to train to the level where you bruise yourself. Yep. Try not to do that. Try not to train to the level where you bruise yourself. You meant to. Although I think I've I think I've got I've got myself a little bit there. I think I hit a vein or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's a, so I'm used to it. Um, yeah, try not to bruise yourself. Uh, strike only to the level that you can strike. Um, choose something that's at your level. So look, if you're gonna if you're gonna start off doing this, you can use one of these strikers or a beater or something, um, or you can just go onto your boxing bag and just strike it barefoot, bare shin. Um, but of course, this is then. This is then, I would suppose, I wouldn't say it's a level above, it's just different, yeah? Um, striking a big round dense boxing bag um, still has a lot of benefits, and this is another method as well, this add to the picture, um, and you'll build your training, which would be good, yeah? You build yourself up. Um, uh, are there any, uh, any other questions before I go and, well, actually, I'll have to wait a little bit till I have some lunch. There's a secret reason for that. Um, 
<laughs> uh, who's the sound of, sound of, sound of phone says shin bruises are the worst. Yeah, like full proper shin bruises, but a little bit of reddening. Um, yeah, like I don't know, you can probably, I don't know if you see my legs, so after all that striking, there's, there's really not much going on there. Now, I was hitting pretty hard. I mean, I don't have super shins. I'm not the most amazing shins in the world, but, and there's another thing, guys. All you're trying to do here is you're trying to be better than you were before, yeah? So it doesn't matter that you're not the guy who kicks those freaking fruits in half and breaks those baseball bats and stuff. It doesn't matter. Um, your chances of encountering him are slim and he's probably a nice guy. Um, but um, all, all you want to do for this is just make yourself better today because I guarantee you if you go out barefoot and kick your boxing bag outside, given the temperature, given whatever the climate, um, it's, you know, and obviously given your level of martial arts, um, you know, it's, it's going to sting. You know, if you're doing it with a good amount of force, oh, it's going to sting. So that, you know, it's, that's good. That's conditioning. Um, but, you know, doing something like this will help to harden those bones. Uh, it will help to make you resist the, the damage and it'll obviously make you a more formidable fighting person, yeah, for defending yourself or for fighting if you do sport combat, MMA or whatever. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the sum total of that. Again, look, thanks for, thanks for, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel, all the new subscribers. Um, like I said, I've been, I've been trying to test out, um, the, I didn't even realize it was a thing, but I've been trying to test out this super chat thing that everyone's talking about. Um, and I was like, well, how can I make it kind of cool for people or whatever? Um, so I, I was just like, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do my training as normal. I'll do my question and answers like we do, um, because that's, you know, that's what it's there for. But um, to keep the flow of what we're doing, if someone wants to change the topic completely, um, like one of the guys asked about iron fist training, um, you know, I was like, yeah, you'll have to super chat that one if you want to. Um, and that helps support the channel and this and that and the next thing. But I thought that's a cool, that's a cool way because yeah, we're doing shin training. This is this is what I was going to do, um, and I thought I would invite you guys along and we could train together, or you can have a see of how what you do. Um, but yeah, if someone just wants to change it up, then I thought that was a cool, like, fair way of doing this super chat thingy. Um, but that's all good. Um, yeah. So any other um. Oh, what's this? It's an email. Get out of here. Get out of here, email. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, guys. Bro broke off there. Someone says, Kyle the Dalek says, will this help with pain tolerance? Oh, of course. Of course it'll help with pain tolerance. But it's not, a, it's not about pain tolerance. Um, because it's just about conditioning. But yeah, unfortunately, it's up to you, like, what level of pain threshold you push through. I mean, I've, I've forgotten now, like, what it's like to hit your shins for the first times or hit your or hit the bones in your wrist if you listen yeah so that's the that's the bones that's the bones in my wrist yeah um which if you yeah, they're, they're a weak point in your body if you it's an attack yeah that's an attack you grab the wrist you pry it's a pressure point um but 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 traditional real karate um, involves and kung fu, which you see movements like this, yeah, which do, they don't really exist there. Uh, you know, you, no one does this in real karate. But traditional movements, yeah, where you would bar, grab, or hit someone's arm, uh, this is where this misconception comes from. It's, it's called kote and urakote, the inside and the outside bone of the forearm. It's been a long, a long lasting kung fu and martial arts weapon. Yeah, uh, and, and yeah, like, like you see, the, the method of training it is called Twin Locks. It's from the 72 Secret Arts of Shaolin. Um, uh, do I go, oh, and guess what? <laughs> There's a plug for you. I do go through it in the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, which there's a discount in the codes below, but um, uh, I've got lots of free videos on it as well, but you have to trawl for them. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so that uh, hardening this bone, it's very, it's very easy to do, but that is painful. So we're talking about pain tolerance. If you just, if you just press your bone together to the other one, 
Um, you'll feel how painful it is. But it is the quintessential essence of Kung Fu and martial arts is where you take a weak point of your body and you train it to the point where it's actually strong and then you can actually break and damage uh, very badly other people's arms if they attack you if they grab you but just with like simple movement yeah so just like you know someone grabs you and you simple movement you just hit you know like you don't have to uh, karate you know you just strike down you know with the with the with the with the, with the natural force you know like the same force that you like, get away you know, so natural force, someone grabs you on your collars here, grabs you around the neck, boom, you just freaking hit, hit that with the body, go like that, bah, you know, or do one or two, yeah. Um, I was telling the guys on one of the last casts that I, um, years ago in the UK when I was working as a police there, um, a guy was, guy was trying to knock me out. I grabbed his arm and did a fancy martial art move, which for surprise actually worked. Long story short, we fell on the floor um, and then I st struck him three times in the neck with this. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, so this, um, yeah, so this, again, part of the iron body martial arts uh, method, which is me, uh, of old traditional conditioning. So this is a, this is a, for any karate people out there or historians of martial arts, this is the true, like, martial art use of this kind of motion that you see um, in karate today, which which is mis misconceived, it's it's um, it's kind of binding, gripping, striking with this bone. That's a, if you think about it. That's the only reason for it. It's like it's like why um, if you take away the bone and you're just hitting people with your muscle, then you're just parrying. It's like well, why are people specifically making this movement? Um, in my wrist together. And Kyle says, if he rubs and twists his wrist together, how long does it take your wrists? Um, if you train them, uh, if you train them, uh, or, yeah, if you train them like that, it, you know, it can take a couple of months. My, my, my wrists, I, I kind of train them on and off, on and off. Yeah. Um, I train them, I train them, uh, got them to a point and then I just keep them ticking over. I could make them better. Um, but, but yeah, if you really wanted to look into the whole techniques of training all of that, like, um, like I said, unfortunately, I have to direct you to my, my, uh, my Iron Body Martial Arts course that's in the link. Um, cause that, that'll give you a, that's like, cause it's a long explanation. Like, uh, uh, yeah, it'll take me forever here to explain it or just scroll down a lot of my videos and dig it out on my channel somewhere. There's um, lots of conditioning videos for free. There's nine years worth of free conditioning videos. Um, so, so, so yeah, but generally that's how it works, man. You build up the pain tolerance and you strike the bones. Uh, you, you use a little bit of other things uh, and to try and just kind of build, your, build yourself up, yeah? Um, like we were doing, similar to the shins, yeah? You could use this same thing, you can use this like on your forearms or a different version or a thinner version, same idea. Uh, uh, Carl the Dalek says, does it cover pain tolerance? Um, it depends what you mean. It depends what you mean, Carl. Um, because ah, oh, yes, it's Sarita. Hello. Yeah, it depends. It depends what you mean. Because um, I mean, pain pain tolerance is is like a given um, with these kind of trainings. The good thing about the course, though, is that it's got. Um, uh, it can, oh, I can always update it. So I've, I've got a few guys on, on it and I sent them a message saying, look, is there any other things that, um, that you guys want? Not that I'm missing. Um, is there any other things that you guys want? Any other techniques? Um, so, so yeah, if, you, if you're interested um, in the specifics of like pain tolerance, I don't think it's something you need to worry about too much um, because as you train, it happens anyway. But, but yeah, I can always add topics, articles, whole videos. It's, it's an organic process. It's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so in case there's some new people who joined, we've been doing, before I go, we've been doing shin conditioning. Yeah, with, um, with uh, this makiwara. So we've been striking the bones of our shin here. Yep. I think, I think we did that for eight minutes on each side. Yep. 
when you're striking the inside bone. The middle bone and the outside, but oh man, my outside is just so overtrained. It's a muscle, so it's a totally different thing, really. And uh, let's go on to this side. Yeah, inside. The only thing with this is you've got to watch corners, yeah? Corners are not your friend when you're training your shins. Uh, now we train the, the flats of the feet too, but you've got to watch corners. Really, you just relax the foot. Well, not. Not the foot that you're striking with. <laughs> and hopefully, um, hopefully I've done it enough here for like people to genuinely see that it's not, um, yeah, it's something that you I do do, um, and I'm not like pretending to hit really hard, you know just to kind of make it look so cool and impressive, yeah? So you just, I'm still hitting at the level that I would want to demonstrate to you guys that I think is safe. And then after we've been using that to condition the shins, yeah? Uh, wannabe martial artist says he's picking up his course um, tomorrow. Yeah, wannabe martial artist, thank you, my friend. Use your um, discount code though from the link. Make sure you use it within 24 hours, or it run, it, 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 the, or just contact me if you want another one. Um, oh, the the course is the one linked on the bot in the in the in the. Um, in the what you call that? It's the write-up. It's there, but but it's the link is including a discount code for anyone who's been cool enough to come to the channel, follow the channel, watch the videos. So so if you if you click on that link, it automatically gives you like saves you some dollars, um, which which everyone likes. We all like to save some dollars. Um, so yeah, a uh, great way to support my nine years worth of work. A uh, great way to get yourself an awesome syllabus. Um, uh, Carl the Dalek says, does he need any equipment? Yeah, Carl, all the equipment you need um, is at the beginning of the course is laid out. Um, but it's not crazy stuff, man. It's just like, the, uh, it's just like, a, like a bundle like this. Um, and these are, um, these are place, uh, like placemats, bamboo placemats. Or, you know, like you, those things you use to roll sushi with, like a bamboo, a couple of those, put them together. Uh, there's a few substitutions as well. Um, there's really not a lot of equipment. Uh, um, bundle of sand, block of paper, um, the block like, like this, like a block of old phone books and stuff. Um, uh, so, this is for an old skill. Um, from the 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin 2 called Striking a Paper Block. But it's all in there. Um, and, and of course, if you like, I don't, you know, obviously I'm trying to get people interested in it, but you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, yeah? All the techniques and methods are there, but it's gonna be you putting in the work, yeah? Um, I'm on there to support people. Uh, I'm on here as well, but I, obviously those guys are gonna get <laughs> more, more of my, my time because, you know, time is money. Um, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, anyone who wants to have a look at it, it's, it's, it's there. Um, and it's, it's, it's a full resource, it's a full, um, it's not going to be a quick thing to finish. Um, and it's, yeah, it's like I said, it's a culmination of nine years worth of work for you dudes. So have a look, um, do some pre-reading. Um, you can always come on the channel. Another good thing is if there's things on there that people want added in, obviously you've got to draw the line somewhere. It's, um, I can add them in, I add stuff in all the time. 
Um, there's lots of links to hours of specific content on here, but um, it, it's um, yeah, it's for the hand aspect and the arm and the body, um, uh, and well, the shins you've seen here now, so you're all good with shins. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we use that, guys. We use this, uh, and then obviously in between everything, uh, we we want to do our kickups, yeah, just to keep out to keep out. Uh, Blood flying in our foot. So you just relax. This is just a stretch. Do your kickups. Obviously, if we were making them into a combat exercise or a training exercise, we just pop our hands together. Sometimes, same side. Yeah, same side. And then opposite sides. Yeah, that's also the way you can start training your shins right now. Um, if you don't have any of this equipment, Shane Justice says he'd like to sign up. Yeah, well, Shane, mate, the, the course is there, it's online, it's waiting for people. So, um, by all means, wait till whenever is good for you, man. We're all. We're all feeling this COVID-19 thing hard now. Um, so I'm trying to, like I said, do a bit of live streams with people training. Um, so, sorry, as I was saying, um, step, step one, uh, if you don't have any equipment whatsoever, is you can, um, you just strike your own shins with your hands. Yeah, and the tops of your feet, yeah? With like seeking hands. And it seems silly, but we all know, I'm probably gonna get a cold. Last time I kicked up all this damn dust from this stupid mat, I ended up getting like a cold from like the fibers, you know, nasty fibers. Um, what was I saying? We all, um, ah, geez, I've forgotten. Um, oh, we've all had that thing where you kick a boxing bag or you strike someone or whatever, they guard it, you get that sting in your foot. So that helps with that, yeah, it helps get it away. You don't have to be so animated either. Uh, you can just stand and do the same. I always do it as a warm up. I rub my shins, I rub my feet, and then I'll just stand and strike. Yeah, but okay, I guess, I guess it helps if you've done like freaking 19 years of iron palm conditioning as well. So I guess my, my, hands, are, my hands are also tough, so they actually hurt my, my, my legs more than my legs hurt my hands, which is funny. Um, that's another reason I wanted to do these vids for you guys because I'm, I'm trying to raise my own shin conditioning because um, it's not at the place that I think is good. So, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, but, but yeah, it's cool guys, look, thanks for the, thanks for the, the, the enjoying the training. Um, thanks to anyone who uh, wants to check out the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course, uh, which is out now, the link's below. Uh, just have a look. Uh, that's a discount code for it. So, but, that, but what I want to say about that is I keep plugging it. It's because I'm proud of it. It's nine years worth of work. Um, cause, uh, sorry, 19 years worth of work. Uh, nine years sharing on YouTube, um, but the, the main thing I want to say about it is it's it's your hard work, yeah. It's it's lots of different methods, so to do secret arts of the Shaolin and other kung fu methods, um, and it's it does it, there is a progression. So you know if you're if you're if you're not a martial artist at all, you can you can do it, uh, and there's no you know there's no um, there's no problem with that. It'll take you from beginning to end. Um, if you do do it and you find some things extra hard because, you know, uh, my, you know, maybe I've started things too hard for people, but I don't think I have, um, then you can contact me on there and I'll chuck some easier stuff in there. But I'm, I'm happy it's fairly complete for anyone to start um, just right away, uh, get their martial arts going. Um, work though, it's, it's work, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's stuff like this, yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's, it's not going to do itself, let's put it that way. Um, Alright guys, any other questions before I go? So this was meant to be half an hour um, of me before lunchtime. 
because um, I just did jujitsu this morning. Uh, so yeah, this was meant to be half an hour of me before lunch showing you guys shin conditioning and stuff, and now I've now I've um, trailed on to almost an hour now. So any other questions from, from anyone uh, before I go? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all the people uh, following the channel, new people. The channel's been growing nicely. Um, uh, and thanks to the Patreon guys who support the channel on Patreon. Uh, and, and yeah, just, um, just keep training, guys. Hope you're all healthy out there. Um, I hope I don't get a cold. Do you know what? I'm surprised the cat, the cat hasn't come here to do a cameo, but, but, but I, I reckon the, the sounds of... Kyle says, any of the course covering diet and workouts. Yeah, um, yeah, Kyle, I think, I believe there is a, I believe there is a section on there about, I uh, need to lose 20 pounds. The, 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 the beginning section, which is actually free, gives you a, um, gives you a, a, a fitness test. Um, so you can, you can actually have a look at that already if you go to Udemy and link on the course because it's, um, it's one of the free previews. So the beginning of the video, that's one thing that I, was important. It starts with the beginning of the course, starts with a, a simple fitness test because part of doing these iron body skills is also developing your own cardiovascularness because that makes your body better able to withstand stresses. Yeah, so if you imagine... If you can run a long distance and you can cope with the stress of that, then you can cope with the stress of like striking your bones and striking your shins and conditioning. And that's a subject that not a lot of people realize. Only a few select instructors of like proper Shaolin instructors of, of Kung Fu um, put that message out. That is actually one of the, the secrets uh, of, of iron body training is actually endurance training in general and in general fitness. So there is a fitness test on there. It's a real easy one. Uh, it, you can do it at home, you can do it on the spot, but it just involves some basic core movements and a round of those. Uh, and it's just like something for people to start with, something for people to warm themselves up before they start doing these kinds of trainings. Uh, there's also preparatory exercises um, which are very important for iron body training. Um, so not so much with the shins, but there's for the shins and legs, it's a different thing. But there's stance training that you do to lengthen and strengthen the tendons in your legs. But the same for the upper body. There's positions and stance trainings that you do. Uh, and there's also gadgets and mechanical stuff and grips that you, you use. I did a live stream with some things yesterday. Um, there's, there's, there's exercises you do. Um, Shane Justice says, wow, I love that kind of training. Thank you. Um, well, my pleasure, Shane. Um, so if you want to be part of the, that group of the... There's only five at the moment, but if you want to be part of that group who are, who are doing that select iron hand course um, with the preparatory exercises as well, because um, I must admit, I'll stop talking about it soon, but like I've seen there's a lot of, there's some, there's a, there's a fair bit of iron palm material out there and you can see like people who've downloaded like the free, the free videos. Um, there's a select, there's quite a lot of iron palm material where, you know, everyone knows it. you put the bag down. Oh yeah, you strike the bag like that. Um, but, but really behind that, there's a whole host of grip, twist, strength. There's a whole host of all the, the, like the backup Kung Fu, you know, that's like the artillery. There's the infantry, which is a whole host of Kung Fu exercises that, that make these things um, proper, you know. Yes, you can condition any part of your body. Um, so look, I'll show you this. I'll probably get in trouble for it. I do have an injury to my side, but let's see if I'll be able to do it. I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll make it, oh, I'm totally going to get trouble for this, I'll make it easier on myself and at least put the mat there, alright, so, fist, okay, remember for, force is pressure over area, yeah, so the, the more, the more force you can put in a small area, the more damage you can do. So we have fist, clenched fist. We have walking up the wall. Then we have uh, Shaolin iron hand. Oh, don't fall. Shit. <laughs> I'm building 
the other hand for fun. Chip. And that's fist. I hope you guys can see. Fingers. So, those, that's like a, a variation of two fingers in. But those are the sorts of things, although you don't have to do that, that, that we cover in the iron hand, iron body martial arts, iron hand method. Yeah, to, to build your iron fist the real, the real way. Um, and you've just seen one, you've seen one way of doing it there, but the problem is getting to that point. <laughs> um, you know, so, because give it a try, and it's not freaking easy. Um, but, if you imagine the amount of pressure concentrated onto your knuckles, haha, <laughs> Carl the Dalek says that's amazing. Yes, so, so guys, that's what I want to say. I've been, I've been throwing this Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course out there, of course, because I want people to, uh, I, don't, I don't so much care about people buying it, but I want people to go to it. I want people to, to, to rate it and stuff like this. Um, that's what I want. Um, you know, I want the message to get out there. Uh, but, um, but yeah, what I'm saying is, it, there are the authentic methods, they're the proper methods, and they're my methods as well, that I've trained for 19 years, so you're not, everything in there, you're, 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 getting, you're getting something that's trained, and you're also getting, um, you'll see the results if you do the thing, you'll see, like there's no, um, if you can do that, if you can do that, you, your fist will not bend when you punch a boxing bag, bare knuckle. Yeah, we all punch a boxing bag, bare knuckle, and the fist bend. We, everyone knows about that. Everyone can put gloves on and smash a boxing bag and be cool. But out in real life or whatever, when you've got no gloves, no wraps, we all know that our, we can't be so cool anymore. But I guarantee you, if you, you follow that iron hand method and you can, I mean, that's not the only method, but you, if you can do that, if you can do that and support your whole body on the one arm and the two knuckles, then when you strike a boxing bag or when you strike a someone, they stay struck. I tell you, they stay struck. And again, it doesn't make you Bruce Lee, it doesn't make you Mike Tyson, but I tell you what it does do, it makes you a hell of a lot stronger than you were, and that's all that matters, yeah? Because it's not going to stop some big Maori guy from freaking knocking you out with his giant hand that's like this big. Or, or Dwayne the Rock Johnson from choke slamming you or people's elbowing you. But it will make you a lot more tougher, yeah, personally. So someone will see you, they'll be like, oh, you'll, you'll have um, impact factor. You know, you'll have, oh, sorry, that's an impact factor. You'll have more. You'll have an extra skill on there. So, so yeah, you know. Uh, okay, guys. So, uh, Dan, I think Dan. I don't know if um, oh, I don't know if MMA bone conditioning's on here. I saw him. He's still there. He's one of my, he's one of my students who's long-term guys who's been following. Well, I think he's been doing about eight months now of I, IBMA iron bone conditioning for his, uh, for his MMA stuff. Are you still there? Um, uh, are you still there, Dan? Uh, so I'll get to what you were missing. I've got an evil email up here. It's trying to, it wants me to clear it, but the moment I clear it, I'm going to run out of stuff. Ah, okay, Dan, well, hold on, let me clear this email. Oh, I'm not going to be able to clear it. It's going to be evil. Oh, yes, I cleared it. Okay. Uh, so, Dan, we were doing, uh, these are store-bought, I should have told you this one, really. Um, these are store-bought Makiwara. So you could buy this online now, even though you're in lockdown. So you can buy that. Yeah, you can see mine's a bit bust. Yeah, and shin. And we're doing, we did eight minutes of shin. Sip, 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 sip. Side now, I hate you, Dan. 
Oh, that was evil. Yep. Then we did side bone. Yep. Side bone. We also did a standing meditation one where you strike. Because you might as well train your elbow as well, you evil. You evil people. Might as well train your elbow as well. My left hand, man. Oh. Damn it. Carl Daleks is cold shouts. I'll get to you in a minute with cold shouts, Carl. So, yeah, Dan, we did. Standing strike, although my left hand's not too good. I did find a good way to hold it before, and now I've forgotten it. But yeah, anyway, guys, I think I, I think I copped a corner on that leg now as well. So, which is not what I wanted to do. So that's all right. Damn those corners. That's the only thing with using square stuff. Dan, Dan says his iron bone condition is coming along nicely. Thanks to IBMA. Excellent. Uh, someone said cold showers. <sighs> um, well, in the 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin, um, there, are some, there are some like prohibitions and bans of things you shouldn't do. Um, and one of those things is dousing the body in cold water. So, so uh, from a Chinese perspective, um, don't do you, you don't do the cold shower thing. Um, I, in fact, after this kind of training, I would do the reverse. Yeah, so I, I've gone and trained my jiu-jitsu this morning, BJJ. Um, uh, then I left my wedding ring in the car, damn it. I've gone and trained my BJJ, I come home, um, and then I put my lunch on in the slow cooker, and then I was like, all right, what conditioning training am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna do shins. Uh, and I was like, I tell you what, whilst I do shins, I'm going to get on Iron Body Martial Arts site here. I'm going to share the shin conditioning training with everyone. Part of my brain said, well, you're going to do a course on, sh on shin conditioning, Aaron, but you know, maybe you should wait till you do that. You want to give all the secrets away. Um, but then I thought, you know what, that's what my channel is about. I've been doing it for nine years. Um, it's, it's growing, so there's people support, you know, there's people liking and subscribing and stuff like that and building, so, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So I hope that answers your question there, Kyle, of our shin training. This is funny because every now and then two or three people are going to join this chat and then be like, what did I miss? And I'm going to have to go, well, you missed striking our shins with all sorts of shit. Oh, Dan, and then we use this to strike our shins with, but, but you, know, you know that because Dan, Dan's been training along for about eight months. Um, so Dan's story is that he's, uh, he's fight, fights, uh, he, he's into his MMA and, and Muay Thai. He trains at the, or did train, um, at the Do John Donahue gym. Uh, and uh, he just wanted for his own benefit. Uh, he's a new person there though, he's not like someone who's been there for years. But he wanted for his own benefit, uh, you know, to be able to strike the bag uh, and kick it and stuff you know, bare knuckle, because he came in and he did it bare knuckle, and his wrist bent and his knuckles hurt and stuff like that. So obviously, I helped him out, as we've known each other for quite a while. I helped him out um, uh, with his conditioning, iron hand conditioning. Um, he, is, he is also in the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course, but I don't, I don't know, have you, you, I know you've got it, but I don't think you've started it yet, Dan, so you have to start it, um, start the course, please. Oh, you did your shin conditioning yesterday. All right. So Dan did his shin conditioning yesterday. Uh, and what shin conditioning did you do? Were you doing the bamboo bundle? Bamboo? Hopefully you're doing your bamboo. He was doing, I know it, he was doing bamboo. Um, so yeah, guys, again, look. You need to train all your other stuff. You need to train your routines or whatever. You need to train all your other things. These things are not going to make you Jet Li or Bruce Lee. Um, but, um, oh yeah. Well, you've, you've got the course. You've, you've, 
you have bought the damn thing, so... Ah, um, oh, you did the bamboo. You bought the damn thing, so uh, you, you got to get starting it now. Um, otherwise, it'll just sit there idling. Um, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, oh, I forgot where I was with that one. But, yeah, thanks for all the thumbs up and the likes, guys. Um, this video has gone very nicely. Um, we haven't had any super chats yet, but that, that, that's fine. Um, I explained in the beginning um, that, um, yeah, we've got the super chat for anyone who wants to support the channel or whatever. But I think the main thing was it was like if someone wanted to change, because we're doing shins today, but if so, some, uh, someone asked very kindly about like, iron fist training, uh, and I said, oh, well, we're doing shins. If you want to change it all together that we're doing something different, totally, uh, you, you have to super chat it because it's kind of messing with the routine. Well, not messing, but it's changing the routine. So that was cool. Um, and then we did a little iron fist demonstration here. We've been talking about the, the iron palm course that I made, um, which is just our routines. Yeah, so, oh, oh yeah, and if you guys can, um, get one of these things online. Um, that, that's good. You might all be in lockdown, but these are, um, yeah, these are real cheap. Uh, I think, I don't know how much they cost, but um, they're not too expensive. I bought this years ago. It's just a hanging makiwara. Um, now, now I hate the hanging makiwara because um, I like the real makiwara. But, but then it actually so happens that this hanging makiwara, is, this handheld makiwara, is great for iron bone training, conditioning the body. If you've got no place, you don't have a boxing bag, you're stuck in a flat in quarantine, like Danny, like like my friend, iron bone conditioning is. Um, and yeah. But anyway, guys, my freaking lunch is. My lunch is probably ready. Um, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Uh, uh, if anyone does before they ch before we tune out, if anyone does want ch uh, the Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course that I keep going on about, um, there's so many links to it uh, on my channel video. The, the few latest videos um, have links to it, and they all include a discount code. There's a link to it below, and it includes a discount code as well. Um, yeah, it's not the cheapest thing on planet Earth, uh, you know, I, I can make no apologies for that, but um, it required a lot of time and effort. Um, took me over, over 40 hours to make, um, just in editing and, and stuff alone. So, um, yeah, it's different to making a fun little video on here or doing a live chat, like when you're actually spending like 40 hours of freaking editing and, 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 and annotating, it's a, it's a nightmare, you know, and I'm not, uh, you know, the video is, it's good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not great at it, but so I had to up my game a bit, you know, so because obviously when people are paying premium money, um, you know, they're paying for the knowledge, but you want it to be in a nice format, so, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, guys, um, any other final questions before I go? I know I've said this like four times now, um, uh, but yeah, that's my training done for the day. Uh, I possibly might go to a class, there's, there's a BJJ, um, no, there's no Gi BJJ later on, and I believe there's Muay Thai or boxing, uh, so I might go to a class of that, um, but that depends on what my wife's doing, what time she's out till. Um, uh, Danny from Iron Bone Martial Arts Channel, Iron Bone MMA, uh, make sure you do your training, um, keep up the good work. Oh, and that was where, sorry guys, my story trailed off. Dan can now, after his eight months of training, um, obviously he could before, you know, he could earlier than eight months, but now he's been going eight months, he can strike the bag bare knuckle, um, he, can, he can kick it, he can do a lot more to it um, without def defense to his body, uh, and, and, you know, he feels a lot more capable in his, in his martial arts, in his, in his MMA when he goes. Um, once he gets out of quarantine. All oh, right. Okay, guys. So I think that's me done now. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and share the channel. Um, check back on the old videos. There's some funny stuff. You can go back nine years. Um, there's all sorts. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I know this is on a bit of a time delay, so I'll give people a few seconds to um, catch up whilst I flick my legs. Oh, and, and don't remember, uh, don't forget as well, um, this is all fake martial arts. Um, none of this works in a real fight, of course. 
Uh, none of it works in a real fight. It's all fake martial arts. Ah, I'm, I, MMA, bone conditioning says he did bare knuckle press-ups. Yeah, oh, sorry, I forgot about that. You're pretty proud of your bare knuckle press-ups on the floor. That's good, man. Yeah, so how are my shins after all that training? I don't know, you can see they're all right. There's no big contusions. Yeah, you, you can get some reddening, and you might get a little bit of spot bruising, but you do not want um, to be smashing your shins or anywhere, like, causing a high level of damage. Um, no, I keep forgetting, actually, I can lift this phone. <sighs> All right, guys, uh, got some, got some, some burns from jujitsu. Um, keep up the good work, guys. Um, yeah, what can I say? Brett from IBMA, out.